Good morning, geometry students. I hope all of you got to school safe and soundly with this um, unexpected weather. Um, today we're going to talk about um, rectangles, so four sides, and we're going to recognize and apply properties of rectangles. So you're going to need your packet, and the definition of a rectangle is a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So that is the definition, and I need you to write these down in your packet. We have 613 and 614. 613 is if a parallelogram is a rectangle, then it's diagonals. So JL and MK, those are congruent to one another. And here's the abbreviation you can write underneath 6.13. 614 is if the diagonals of a parallelogram are congruent, then the parallelogram is a rectangle. So it's the converse of 613. So if we find out that these are congruent, then we can call this whole thing, this whole um, parallelogram, a rectangle. So pause and write these down. Okay, whoops. Let's look at this first example. A rectangular park has two walking paths as shown in this picture right here. If PS is 100, this is 100 meters, and PR is 200 meters, so this whole thing right here is 200, find QT. So I'll save this one for later. This. So we want to find what QT is, this part right here. So by our theorems, we know that um, the, um, the diagonals are going to be equal to one another. So if PR is 200, SQ is also 200, and we know that they bisect each other. So QT then has to be 100 meters. Now well, let's look at some angles. If the measure of P R S is 64. I'll use a different color here. If this right here is 64, we want to find S Q R. So S Q R. This is the moment that we want to find. Okay. So we know that we have um, this is 90 degrees. Angle R is going to be 90. So if this is 64, this other side of the angle is going to be 26. Now, does that help us get this angle here? Um, T, Q, or excuse me, S, Q, R. Well, we know that these two um, line segments have to be the same because they bisect each other and they are the same length. So now we have an isosceles triangle. And what does our isosceles triangle tell us about the base angles? They have to be the same. So the measure of angle S, Q, R is 26. Rewatch that portion if you didn't understand how I got 26. All right, let's try another one. JKLM is a rectangle. And sorry, I had to pause the video. I had to sneeze. Mm, excuse me. Um, if the measure of KJL, so let's look here. Let me get my pen out here. K J L, so this piece right here is 2x plus 4. And the measure of J L K, so J L K, this one right here is 7x plus 5. We want to find x. So pause for a second. See how you think you would you would solve that. How would you solve that? Well, we know we're going to have alternate interior angles. So if this angle right here is 2x plus 4, then this angle right here has to be 2x plus 4. And what do these angles have to equal in order for it to be a, or because it is a rectangle? They have to equal 90. So let's take 2x plus 4 plus 7x plus 5 equals 90. So we have 9x 
plus 9 equals 90. Subtract 9 from both sides, and we get 9x equals 81. Therefore, x has to equal 9. All right. Now, this problem right here is what I want you to do to um, submit at the bottom after you watch this video. Um, it is challenging, but I believe that you can do it. And we'll go over it in class on Tuesday. Remember, we don't have school on Monday. So um, go ahead and do this problem for Tuesday, and we'll talk about it Tuesday. And if you have any questions, write them in the comment spot or email me. That would be great. But I want you to submit your answer. Whatever you think Y is or what you solve for Y, submit below. And have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you Tuesday.